Trace maps the supply chains of forest risk commodities in key producing countries. This could be palm oil from Indonesia, soy or beef from Brazil, cocoa from Cote d'Ivoire, or other commodities linked to tropical deforestation. This video explains how we do that. Each supply chain map from Trace covers the total exports of a particular commodity in a given country for a given year. For example, all palm oil exported from Indonesia in 2020. Trace produces a picture of the middle stage of the supply chain. This means that we connect the volumes of commodities produced in a particular region to trading companies and also to countries that import the commodities. In some cases, Trace also shows how much goes to the domestic market. We do this by connecting different data sets. The exact data sources and methods vary by country and commodity, but there is a broad common approach to them all. First, trade data on shipments are the backbone, which provide information on the volumes of commodities, ports of export, exporters, importers, and importing countries such as China or Germany. This is the starting point for all supply chain mapping. Next, with tax and asset information and company disclosure, like traceability reports, we can identify facilities used in commodity production, processing and storage, and connect them to exporting and importing companies in the supply chain. For instance, we can identify links between a beef trader and a set of slaughterhouses, or map the location of palm oil refineries and mills. We also consider other information, such as commodity production and processing statistics. We then apply a decision tree and, if necessary, mathematical models to optimize the allocation of volumes of exports. We connect them to facilities, such as silos or slaughterhouses, and we connect them to regions of production, such as municipalities or departments. For some commodities and countries, we can draw on more detailed data. For instance, when we look at beef exported from Brazil, information on animal movements helps to map the links between processing facilities and producing localities. The TRACE team doesn't physically visit farms and cargo ships to verify the journey of each individual cocoa bean or soy cake. And in most cases, we can't give a farm level view of origins, but our supply chain maps are the best available reconstruction of sourcing patterns based on the available data on commodity production and trade. We provide a market-wide picture, which breaks down the total amount of beef, soy, palm oil, or other commodity produced in a country in a given year. From this, we connect certain volumes to specific regions of production, specific supply chain actors, and specific destination markets. Once these links are revealed, we can go further to estimate how far companies and countries in the supply chains are exposed to environmental impacts, in particular, deforestation, and related greenhouse gas emissions. To find out how Trace calculates deforestation exposure, watch out for our next video. To learn more about Trace, watch our other videos, join our mailing list, follow us on social media, or visit our website.